So in Daniel chapter five, we really see kind of this series all through the chapters of Daniel. Chapter one, two, three, four, five, even six, where really we're seeing what it looks like for a believer to counter the culture they're immersed in. Why? Because the culture's wicked. I mean, in Daniel chapter five, we see the fall of this king named Belshazzar. And Belshazzar, falls from his reign, his rule, his place of authority, because he sacrilegiously, disrespectfully, unashamedly, does things in the eyes of God that he ought not to do. And if you read verses 25 through 29, you come across this interesting inscription that is written by fingers of a hand from heaven. And it says, meanie, meanie, Heckle, you farson. Now you might say, what in the world does that mean? Well, I encourage you to read the Bible. Verse 26 through 29 explains it, that this king, well, his days were numbered. He had been weighed and found wanting, and his kingdom would be divided. And here's the takeaway truth for today. Anytime you go against God's will, God's ways, and what God says to do, you'll always reap consequence. For this king, he was weighed and found wanting, and what he had would be divided and given away. As a Christian, I think your days can be full and fruitful as you live for the Lord. But as you live for yourself, you may find things fluttering and flittering away. You might be frizzled and frazzled and frustrated, so to speak. It doesn't have to be your story. It doesn't have to be mine. Today, counter the culture you're in, follow Jesus, not the ways of the world, and see what the Lord will do as he provides his fullness and his fruitfulness in your life.